Yellow Buckets presents The 12 Toasty Reviews of Christmas What's going on comrades? Welcome back to another Toasty, Toasty Review And here, would be complete for a series without throwing in some good drinks into the equation for this holiday special So I got Oberweiss eggnog and I have Prairie Farms eggnog one quart of each and um, I'm kind of going for here a premium versus standard uh, quality test here. Prairie Farms came in at about 219 for the quart where Oberweiss was 429 for a quart and uh, to switch it up and have a little fun what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to set these down and have James come in and he's going to pour one of each um, eggnog into one of each Dream Theater mug and on the bottom he's gonna mark which ones which and I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna mark which ones I think they are and we'll see if I'm right if I can judge the difference between the tastes of the two different kinds. So without further ado I'm gonna leave the room James is gonna come in he'll show you which ones he pours up and I'll come back to test them. Hey Yellow Buckets fans it's James here like Drew said I'm gonna be setting it up Tape on the bottom here. Shit. Sorry. So everybody can see. Alright. Probably put a little too much in there, but. Gives him the chance to taste test it a lot. Unfortunately, no booze, but. All right, guys, we're all poured up here. I'm gonna go grab Drew so we can see which one's the best. All right, all right comrades, I'm back. I'm gonna try one of these out. See if I can differentiate between the Overweiss and the uh, Prairie Farms. So go for the astonishing mug first. Smells like good old eggnog. Okay. So it's not that bad. Tastes like standard old eggnog. Um, let me get something to cleanse the palate real quick. Okay. So I'm going for the images and words mug. Smells not as strong, honestly. That one's a little bit, the second one there, so not, it's a little bit smoother. It's not as thick. The first one was more creamy and rich. Um, whereas this second one seems like it's more, um, like I guess, just thin in general. Still tastes pretty good. But, honestly, I couldn't really tell the difference between the, uh, really the two flavor-wise. It was more just consistency. So I'm going to bring the camera in and make my decision. Alright, so, the first one I tried was the Astonishing Mug. I'm going to honestly, I'm going to think that's Oberweiss. I think. It just seems more rich and good in general. I'm going to say Prairie Farms was the one in the images and words uh, mug. But the only way to find out is to see what's on the bottom. Oop, and kick the camera while I'm at it. So. Ooh. Dun, 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 dun. Prairie Farms. So I got it right. Oh, shit. So obviously underneath this one. It's going to be the O for Oberweiss. Yeah. Alright, so there you have it, comrades. I actually picked the right eggnog. It was honestly luck, I think. Um, I'm not really that good of a taster when it comes to eggnog. Like, I only get two or three cups, maybe, every season. So, most of that's probably just going to be given away to family and friends. But, that was fun. I enjoyed it. And, I'm not going to give them individual ratings, because I don't think, for eggnog at least, 
it's all pretty much the same in my opinion. So I'm just going to have to solid for those ones that I tried at least. Uh, I don't know where I give it a three out, 3 out of 5. I'm really glad that I haven't tried anything that's truly been that bad of a stinker. Other than fucking Oreos. But that's okay. Alright comrades, stay tuned for another toasty review. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good holiday.